So all vertebrae have some of the same basic parts. They all have the body, which is the weight-bearing structure. Then to the sides are transverse processes, and pointing towards the back is the spinous process. Then looking this way, the superior articulating processes and the inferior articulating processes, which are connecting to the vertebrae above and below. And then this region here, which connects the transverse process to the body, is the pedicle. And here, connecting the spinous process to the transverse process is the lamina. So now that you know what a vertebrae looks like in general, um, I'll show you what's kind of special about the cervical vertebrae. It has all the same parts, they're just, you know, maybe a little smaller. So it still has a spinous process. It's got eeny meeny transverse processes, little superior and inferior articulating processes. Um, some of the differences are that inside of the transverse processes are these holes, um, the transverse foramen or transverse foramina is plural. And the spinous process is like a fork tongue, which is why it's called a bifid spinous process. So this is C1. It's the first cervical vertebrae. It looks very different from all the other vertebrae. Um, it also has a special name. This is the atlas. This is the superior side. You can tell because those bumps articulate with these occipital condyles on the skull. So it goes like this, and it's what allows you to nod. Other than that, um, this in the front is the anterior arch. It's smaller, and in the back is the posterior arch, where you can see a little nub where maybe a little spinous process wants to be. So below the atlas is um, the C2, which is another special looking fella. So this here is called the DENS, D-E-N-S, or the odontoid process. And these articulate like this, um, and the axis allows you to turn your head side to side, as in shaking your head no. The last thing of note concerning the cervical vertebrae is cervical vertebrae 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, is the vertebra prominens. So if you reach around the back of your neck and feel for that bump, you're feeling the spinous process of C7. And you'll notice it is not bifid. It doesn't have a fork tongue like the other ones. So the easiest way to determine if you're looking at a thoracic vertebrae is to look at the spinous process. If it's pointing very, very down, it's going to be thoracic. You can see a lumbar points more straight out. Some people say this looks like a moose and this looks like a giraffe. Also, um, because the thoracic vertebrae are connected to the ribs, there are little flat parts um, where the ribs are connecting, and those are called costal facets.